Good morning. I am just um, very quickly putting on some jewellery because I am late to go and catch the overground to go and get my nails done, which is where I'm going this morning. Um, and me being me, I just completely lost track of time, which is weird because I'm not usually like that. But I think it's just because it's like the first day back after the long weekend after Easter and I apparently don't know how to keep myself on time. <laughs> so I'm in a very, very big rush. Um, so I'm just putting like the basis of my jewelry on. I don't have time to put all my um, bracelets on because I'll be here forever. My hair's a bit of a mess. I've done like a really quick sleep, very quick sleek bun and I'm just popping on some rings. All my jewelry, apart from my earrings, are from Pandora. Um, I love these Pandora necklaces. They're like my favorite at the moment. And these are all of my favorite rings of the moment. As you can see, my nails have grown out quite a lot. So yeah, looking forward to getting that done. Anyway, I actually have to go. I've got like 13 minutes to get to the station and it's an eight minute walk apparently, more like five, but I've got to go. So I'll catch you when I get back. It's now three o'clock. I've been home for a while actually. Um, got back, had some lunch and have just been chilling on the sofa for a bit. The weather has changed majorly. It's now cold and wet and it's probably not that cold but it feels cold. Um, but these are my nails. I absolutely love them. They're like a really simple design but kind of fun with the colours. And I just think they're kind of different. I didn't want like your classic spring nails with like the flowers and stuff. I just didn't want that. I wanted something that was spring, but something I've never had before. I always like to push the boat out a bit. I say push the boat out like a little bit just so I can like play around with my nails because otherwise you end up having the same thing all the time. And my last nails were like just a French tip. But I wanted something that was more of a design this time and I love having like a neutral base as well I just think when they grow out they don't look so bad as they grow out although I think next time I might get like a more of a block of color um design rather than something quite simple but I really like them I think they're really cute um and I'm really chuffed with how they turned out I had a really nice relaxing nail appointment today I'm glad I went um today and didn't like push it back for another day so yeah, I need to um, fake tan actually. It's just start chucking it down um, tonight because my tan is super patchy. I haven't done it in a while um, and I do need to wash my hair. So tonight is pamper night for sure um, because I need to film some content tomorrow. So that is the plan for this afternoon. Um, nothing major exciting also I forgot to mention this morning because I was in a rush. The glass that I smashed, I did sweep up. I did clean it. I did put it in the bin. It's all fine. Um, I didn't show myself cleaning it because it was a task and a half. Um, but yeah, I didn't mention that earlier, but I did clean it up. So annoying. Those um, glasses, the one that I smashed, is from Firm Living. And I smashed one before, actually. They're really, really thin, so they smashed like super easy. I mean, glass smash is easy anyway um but yeah so i'm now left with only two of those but um yeah funny anyway i'm gonna go crack on with some work oh my god what curls which I've tried which I can't lie I kind of I don't love it I don't hate it it was the first try it, it could be better um so I'm actually going to tie it up um because I have this thing with my hair where if it doesn't look like if I don't love the way it looks then I'm just like Ugh. like I'm not going out like that even though no one's probably ever going to notice but Hey, anyway, I'm just going to tie it into a bun and I'm going to curl it properly because it's not 
It's not content appropriate. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm about to pop out to the um, shop because I have absolutely no food in my flat. Um, where I went home on the weekend, I just didn't buy any food and now I have like nothing. And I kid you not, I don't really want to be eating Easter eggs as snack. That's kind of all I've got. And I don't think that's the best thing to have. Um, but I do actually have quite a busy day today. I've got quite a lot of things that I want to get done. Um, I've got a few reels I want to film. And then also I have um, my podcast I need to edit and get some bits and bobs done because next week I'm quite busy. So I've got quite a bit to get done today. I'm busy tomorrow. Is it Thursday today? Wednesday today. I could do bits tomorrow. Busy on Friday. Oh my god, honestly, right. I'm, I'm going to head to the shops before it gets too late because otherwise, at this rate, I'm not going to be doing anything till 12. And we don't have time for that. Whilst I was at Tesco, I remember that I had a parcel to pick up and I don't know why I do this sometimes. Like I get things sent to Tesco because it's easier if I'm gonna be out or whatever. And then I forget and I forgot about this and I was going to Tesco anyway because I needed to. And then whilst I was paying, I was like, oh my God, I need to collect my parcel. So I did. Um, and it's nothing majorly exciting to be honest, um, but, I did need some pop ups of two products that I absolutely love, I use all the time. One of which being Elizabeth's Cleansing Balm. I love this stuff for when I'm taking off my makeup. I don't use it in the morning um, because I don't feel like my skin needs it. But after a day of wearing makeup, my skin's got a bit dry, maybe it's a bit oily. This stuff I love. Um, it's amazing. I just can't rave about it more. But I'm going to try and use it just in the evenings now. Um, make it last longer but also because I just don't need it in the mornings and then I also picked up the GHD heat protectant spray I really like this it smells nice um I think it's a really good product I don't feel like it ruins like the state of my hair it doesn't make my hair sticky or anything so love this um but yeah anyway I'm now going to go and make myself look more alive because right now I look still half asleep um and crack on with the day Trying to find a camera location right at this moment that is clean and you can't see mess. It's quite difficult. You should see the state of the bedroom. It's very messy. Um, I was creating content earlier, so it's super, super messy. But anyway, I'm just getting ready to go to Pilates. My whole outfit, like my bra, sports bra and leggings are from Adenola. And then this little top is from Uniqlo. I actually really like it. When I bought it, I was a bit unsure because I thought it was gonna be loose. But it's actually really nice and tight, which I love. And I bought it to go with this set because this set's brown and it's new. I don't really have anything to go with a brown set. So, um, yeah, I got this top and I'm just popping some shoes on. I am so funny. Like, most people when they go to the gym or work out have, like, you know, gym clothes that aren't aesthetic. But me being me, everything I wear has some sort of aesthetic. And even the outfit that I turn up in to Pilates, turn up to Pilates in, is also aesthetic. So my shoes are like a brownie neutral colour to match the outfit. And I'm just going to pop on this cream jumper, just because it's not super warm out, but it's also not freezing. You know when it's like that weird weather? It's also been raining, so better cover up, add some warmth. And then I'm going to pop on my, um, what's this called, trench coat, just for weather purposes. And then I'm going to add this Uniqlo bag. I don't think they sell this colour anymore. Maybe they don't sell the other colour I have. But yeah, brown fit. And I'm off to parties. So I'll see you soon. 
hello this vlog has um ended up being somewhat of a fail shall we say um i really wanted to vlog my week and show with you guys like what i've been up to and what i've been doing also ignore the mess i'm packing for something um and if i'm going to be completely honest my week took a turn come wednesday um without getting into the nitty gritty of everything um something ended and i wasn't expecting it and um it really made me feel quite down quite sad quite unhappy um for a couple of days and because of that i obviously wasn't gonna pick up my camera if you follow me on instagram you probably would have seen me mention it um i always think it's important to be honest with you guys whether it's telling you guys that i'm down whether it's like you know celebrating a really good happy thing um i think in this world that we live in now a lot of people think that the instagram life that you show off is the true life you have and shows just the highlights and we all know this instagram is a highlight reel and i sometimes well most of the time only show the highlights so it's kind of important for me to share the moments when I am down or I am not feeling great so that people can understand that I get them too. I get those days too. I'm not just someone who, you know, is having a great time, has a great life and is feeling fabulous because everyone struggles with things. Everyone has these things that go on that make your life a little bit difficult. And um, yeah, I had a moment that made me feel really quite sad I'm feeling better I won't lie I'm feeling better I feel a lot more myself I think sometimes when a shitty situation happens whatever it is sometimes you just have to let yourself feel how you're feeling I was feeling really sad I was feeling really down and I just cried out and it definitely did help me I've just realized I've not put my bracelets on <laughs> um I love my bracelets I feel better um but yeah I felt really really down and i just had to cry out and obviously wasn't going to film anything um but you know mental health is important and sometimes you just have to look after yourself and do what's best for whatever situation you're in um wherever it's going or whatever the where you're at i struggled a lot last year um i don't know if i've mentioned this so much on youtube but i have on my podcast if you are interested i have a podcast it's called still got time podcast well it's called still got time but you can follow it on instagram which is still got time podcast and tiktok as well um but i really struggled with my mental health last year um it was really tough for a few reasons and um it was something i had to work on myself and i gave myself a lot of time to work on it and, and understand things and work on myself and bringing myself back to where I was. I basically throughout most of 2022, I wasn't myself. Um, and that's kind of heartbreaking to think about. But now I'm in a much better place that when these rubbishy situations happen, I can cope with them a bit better. Um, but my anxiety last year was horrendous. Um, I was in fight or flight mode pretty much every single day um, in my own home and that was really really tough for me I it's there's so much to it to explain and I don't really want to go into it majorly but I really struggled like I would cry myself to sleep sometimes I didn't want to be at home I would panic if I heard something or I would um, just not want to leave I I, it was horrible it was horrible i wasn't i wasn't good but i'm much better now and i just wanted to mention it because i don't really talk about my anxiety i am someone who has suffered with anxiety my whole life um when i was younger it's social anxiety that's something i do want to speak about at some point but um it's quite a it makes me quite upset let's just say when i think about my anxiety when i was younger um yeah makes me really upset when i think about it so that one's really hard but in terms of anxiety and the things i do to make myself feel better and stuff like 
definitely open to having that chat and speak about it more. I think it's important to speak about it more because life isn't always like hunky dory. And whilst I live them such a great life and I am so grateful to be where I'm at and be able to live the life I live, um, sometimes, you know, things are gonna get you down and everyone has these moments. Um, I, like I said, I've suffered with anxiety my whole life. It's not something that I, is new to me, but it's different situations and different scenarios and dealing with it. Um, but I'm feeling better after my midweek feeling low and I spent some time with my friends and had a nice weekend and I am feeling a lot better so now the start of the new week I've got some exciting plans um, I'm going on a trip which I will hopefully try and vlog for you guys um, I want to film it because it should be a really nice little trip away um, going to Devon which will be fun um, so yeah but I just wanted to end this vlog and just chat to you about how my week actually went rather than sitting here and being like oh sorry I didn't end the vlog blah 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 I'm now doing this I just wanted you guys to know you know what it's actually like and what I actually went through but yeah anyway I hope you enjoyed this vlog um lots more videos to come wardrobe clear out coming soon um but yeah I love you all and I will speak to you in my next video bye